As we touched upon in our last video, DeFi brought on a new wave of innovation and freedom for individuals. This was made possible because liquidity pools allowed people to park their money into a protocol so they could use their liquidity to facilitate buy and sell orders. In return, these liquidity providers were rewarded for doing so. If you haven't seen the first video, please go watch it now. Don't worry, we'll wait for you. Done? Okay, now we can talk about the latest development in the world of DeFi, which is DeFi 2.0. DeFi 2.0 refers to a new paradigm in DeFi protocols, wherein protocols are the primary owner of their own liquidity. To best understand this, it is important to define the issues which DeFi 2.0 came to solve. Before DeFi 2.0, protocols issued their token and outsourced the liquidity supply to the market, for example through liquidity providers. A token would be issued and some token holders would act as liquidity providers by making them available on exchanges so they could earn the trading fees. This approach worked great for LPs, but there was a glaring misalignment of interests. Protocols are long-term oriented and work hard to ensure liquidity is always available for their token, while LPs were short-term oriented. Since protocols were incentivizing people to provide liquidity, they only wanted to provide liquidity for the highest yielding assets. This caused liquidity to be concentrated in a few projects and forced protocols to pay out rewards if they wanted to maintain their liquidity, which isn't sustainable in the long term. To address these issues, Olympus pioneered a protocol-owned liquidity, or POL, mechanism in which the protocol itself is responsible for providing liquidity for its token, rather than outsourcing it to LPs. In other words, Olympus is the LP of its token by owning approximately 99% of all liquidity pools. This guarantees that any holder of its token will always find a buyer to trade with at fair value, which is always Olympus. Klima then took this mechanism and took it a step further by applying it to the carbon market. Not only does Klima own a majority of its liquidity, but it also owns an increasing amount of carbon assets. By doing so, they turned Olympus's POL mechanism into a climate fighting machine. The beauty of DeFi 2.0 is that it allows protocols and individuals to align their incentives and work together to accomplish extraordinary goals.